Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are offering another menu book. This is menu book number 25 and we're going to be heading off to the European Championships. But before we get into that, I'm just going to leave this little cameo video to run. I do like the way that Gran Turismo 7 has included some of these videos. Uh, they really are a nice break from just carry on through the game just really really quickly and there's some nice cars in here the uh, 1990s uh, bmw m3 is porsche alfa romeo aston martin some real real classics anyway let's head off to world circuits and at the bottom of the screen uh, we should see the European Championship logo with the little orange icon to let us know that that's where we need to head off to. So we will enter into that with a PP600 or thereabouts car. I'm on the Scirocco at the moment, up against an M4, M3 and, and the Alfa Romeo. I think we're going to be okay with the Scirocco. I'm just going to make sure that I've got my racing tyres on, which I do go across to enter and we will enter the race. Looks like we are on race one is at the Dragon Trail, race two is at Monza and race three is the Grand Prix circuit at the Nürburgring. And our car is a 630pp so we're not too far away. Hopefully we will be able to get through the traffic um, but not uh, too too quickly that we don't make it a little bit exciting and, and have a decent race so as per usual we're starting at the back of the grid so in 16th and we need to achieve third place or higher now this is the first of three races and points will be awarded for finishing positions hopefully we'll get 12 points those points are then all added up and we need to be in third place or higher at the end of the three races once all those points are added up Okay, so just uh, go around the outside of those two cars to bring us up into 14th, just getting it slow, slowed down through here. Just be very careful not to hit that BMW. Um, just want to try and make this a clean race if we can. Uh, totally lost my train of thought while I was just um, thinking about how we made our way through the traffic there. But, uh, the Porsche 911 is done. I do like that car, it's really nice. Hopefully we'll get one of those at some point. Ready. Down the inside of the other Porsche, going to get turned into third gear just to get it turned on in on that apex. Quite a tight corner. We're going to go to the right of the Volkswagen and then we'll, we'll just back out of this one. We've got the Aston Martin Lamborghini having a bit of a battle here. Try not to run into the back of the Lamborghini. Just about managed to get that slowed down. We've gone between the two cars. Just about managed to make that stick and didn't hit the Aston Martin, which was good. Going to go down the right hand side, or we're going to have to get across. Oh no! Oh! Blast! Okay, Mitchell, that wasn't clever. You, I've done that before. Overtaking a car and then moving across the track when you haven't cleared the car is not a clever move. I think we'll go back and have a look at that. So I'm pretty sure that that was all my fault. So at the end of the race, we'll just have a look at that. Not very clever at all. Um, put us back down into 8th place behind the Lamborghini, which uh, we get around pretty easily. Um, not very happy, that's almost definitely wrecked our theme race. Uh, we'll push on though, and just try and get between the two of those, or manage to make that one stick. I thought I was going to do the same thing again. Well, um, my racecraft is something that I really, really need to work on. So just Watching for the breaking point into this corner, down on the fourth gear to get it turned in, just try and carry as much speed as we can through here. Up into fifth, keeping an eye on the cars in front while also looking for the braking points just near the curb there, over the curb as we go through this tight little section here. Just being careful of the sausage curbs, managing to ride those. Steer clear of the M3, going to go up the inside of the Alpine. We're up into third already, so this car is clearly far more superior than those around us. Uh, we've got uh, this uh, Mercedes in front, trying to go around the outside. Ooh, yes, we made that one stick. 
and now we just need to keep it clean through here catching up with this um, BMW really really quickly uh, just losing the speed before we get to this left hander no we're not going to be able to get it down the inside there so just backing out a little bit using the gears just to slow the car down as well as the brakes looking for braking point here just as you hit that bump going up the inside oh yes sorry that that was a move that opened up i was not expecting just on the inside of the bmw just managed to make that stick and then it's all about the apexes for what i refer to as the hexagon section and this isn't a full hexagon it's a, you know a, a right 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 corner there and you, you've always got to treat it as one as you do this it's not a hairpin but it's almost like a double apex uh, double left handed there you treat that as one corner as well so at the end of the second lap to the final lap already this race is really really going quickly uh, we are up into first place four seconds ahead of the second place person still feeling a bit bad about that accident but we definitely have taken us out of the race in real life so this is a bittersweet run um, but we do just want to get through these menu books so i am going to push on six and a half seconds ahead now and hopefully we can keep the next two races clean and make up for that complete disaster uh, during that race so we'll don't get it on the grass subset the uh, the angle for this corner which has again put us wide getting very very untidy through there all the lines were completely wrong through there and we're nine seconds ahead so we really don't need to be doing silly things like that uh, so just get it turned in for this corner fourth gear over the curb run to the right -hand side down into third to get it turned in over this corner just nicely taking the curbs on these apexes we drift out to the left down into third for this last one possibly could have carried that through into fourth but i tend to like going around these sections in third snatching fourth at this point as you go over the last curb taking lots of curb on the way out and we've got this run down to this uh, very fast left left looking for the braking zone just before the curbs turning over that curb just slightly missed going to the outside so you can sweep back lovely 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 through there that was really nice you can see that uh, we've got to run down to the line and we're going to be about ten and a half seconds ahead of the car behind so ten and a half seconds over a three lap race here is, is quite something um, this car clearly far more superior to the cars around us and uh, really rather surprised that the, the Porsches were so far down the field with the AI. But so round one, uh, 12 points on the board, um, the M4 behind us. And as uh, you can see, there's some pretty fast cars way down the table. 30,000 credits. We didn't get a clean race bonus, but that was no surprise whatsoever. Uh, really was not very happy about my performance in that race whatsoever. And I think if that had been a uh, an online race against real people, I would have upset an awful lot of people, and uh, I would probably have just uh, gone back to the pits, back out of that. Uh, driving really wasn't very good at all. So this is uh, this is the view from the uh, from the back of my car. Uh, so we're just coming down on the BMW here. We managed to get this slowed down followed him through there which I was quite happy about you know quite a nice little overtake through this little tricky section again on the uh, on the white car there and also then on the red Porsche you know, some nice overtakes at this point and everything was settled down quite nicely uh, the race was running well uh, we actually caught this Porsche at a nice time the uh, inside opened up and that put us on the back of this little group of cars and at this point we started to get a little bit a little bit, um, I would like, wouldn't like to say cocky, but a little bit sure of myself and uh, managed to just get a little bit deep into the, uh, the rear of the uh, Lamborghini there. Went between the Lamborghini and the Porsche and managed to get it slowed down. So confidence building all the time. And then this is where, yeah, my fault, completely my fault. And we take the uh, last year out as well. So mess his race up too. 
Um, I just was not clear as we went through there. And, and really, although I was boxed in, I've got to learn to either back out of those sorts of moves um, or just yeah, but just be more well, more careful. So here I should have just stayed behind Renault instead of trying to get down the inside. Uh, that's a schoolboy, that's a rookie, rookie error. Really, really stupid. And uh, the more I look at it, the more the more I don't like what I did there at all. Really, really disappointed in myself. And just came straight across the front of the last seat, not seeing nowhere to go. Completely wrecked his race, or her race. And uh, yeah, not, not a good day in the office Mitchell right we'll move on to race two and see if we can make amends we're at Monza now no excuses this time Monza is a track that I've run so many times both in Gran Turismo Formula One it's a track that we know well it can be challenging at times let's keep it clean at this race so this is race number two again we're starting in 16th place we are looking for a race win to get another 12 points on the board. And the first thing that we are thinking about is uh, not the aeroplanes going overhead, but our braking point into the first corner, not leaving it too late and running into the car in front. We do manage to get that nicely slowed down, giving the Audi plenty of room, just slowing it down on that exit as well, getting on the back of the Audi. We get a, an opportunity to go up the right hand side for a nice clean overtake that is how to race rather than just trying to chuck it up the inside so now thinking about the bmw fifth gear really quick through there all the bmw goes to the left which means we open up on the right hand side can we get past the alpha uh, that's, uh, yes that's, that, yes we cleared him okay so it, that was uh, train of thought totally gone there. Go from the inside of the Porsche. Um, here, the Alpha opened up on us there. We managed to do that quite nice. And we go around the outside of the Porsche, being careful not to drift out into the gravel on the left hand side and then do everything. So, up to 10th at this point, loads of that corner. We can use that green strip to get us on the back of this gaggle of three cars. Now, we need to be careful. Don't repeat what we did before, but we're lucky this time just going down this sort of mini straight you can do it get those cars on the outside the Renault Sport we're doing the inside looking for our braking points to get it slowed down over those sausage curves just giving them a little bit of respect slowed it down a little bit more than we needed to so we can get the Lancia on the way out that's a cleaner overtake than trying to do an overtake midway through that little section uh, being a little bit more cautious uh, this time, uh, I really don't want a repeat of the last race. I'm thinking about where we're going to break here. So breaking at 100 meter board for an early turn in, just looking for the apex, building the speed through this corner, get up into fourth gear, and just overtake those two together. That's nicely done to get us up into the third, up into fifth gear for this long straight. And we're thinking about the breaking point for this corner. Nothing in front of us, so we can really go for it on this occasion. And I think I'm going to bury the brake pedal at the 100 meter board. That was a little bit late, and we've overshot. Really, I need to be braking earlier than that. We're going to back off and just let those two cars through. So, no advantage. But we now know that in the Scirocco, we do need to break before the 100 meter board. That was a, a little bit over enthusiastic on my part. Drop back quite a bit whilst we let those cars through. Uh, so that has cost us a fair bit of time. Uh, we're just watching for our braking points here. Can you slow down early so that we don't run into the back of the BMW? We can close up through here. And are we going to go? No, I think we'll stay behind him for this corner. He's going to break. No way we can go around the outside there. We're going to wind up in the gravel trap. So we'll take it down to third gear so we can get a good drive up into fourth. Leave it in fourth down to third over here so we can get across this curve. Just get going up the right hand side of that car. Sorry, I was uh, a little bit unsure which way I was going to go there. Um, it's another clean overtake down up into second place. 
and closing down on the Mercedes. So underneath the bridge, thinking about our braking point. It's break really early, so we're braking early, coming down through the gears, just to make sure that we do not run into him through here. The back of that Mercedes is going all over the place. We keep our car steady so we can get a nice run up the inside on the exit of the hill. The AMG was certainly moving around all over the place through there and by just keeping things a little bit calmer, a little bit more settled, we were able to pull a second nearly out on our way down into this last corner. Again, break early so we got a nice early turn in and we can accelerate all the way through the latter part of this corner and then down to the start and finish again thinking about the braking point so we're not going to do the 100 board we break near the 150 i think um, let's see how this one goes yeah, it's just a little bit before the 150 actually i was over cautious uh, i should have stamped on the uh, brakes at 150 i think that was uh, more cautious than i needed to be uh, maybe uh, just a little bit of nerves kicking in but we're still nearly five seconds ahead of the per of the second place person and um yeah it's uh proving okay at the moment just glancing at the clock at the moment we are pretty even time wise to the mercedes behind so we are going to keep pushing and we've gone a little bit deep there which means that's a little bit tight oh just missed my braking point ever so slightly calm it down a little bit get it turned in just apex this one, third gear, coming up to fourth, watching for the next corner, break just before the 50 metre board, use loads of kerb there up into third so we can get the power down this straight and actually pulled out a seven second lead at the moment which is nice, very much aware that there are a couple of cars behind us to capitalise on any mistakes that we make, now we're actually Break under the bridge, get this turned in. I was going to have a look and see how the car was behind us, but let's just get through here for the moment using loads of curb. Be careful not to cut the curb. That's a bit close. I'm not sure if I cut the curb there, which for any penalties, but we are nine seconds ahead at the moment. It looks like we got away with the curbs um, through that little chicane bit. Going to break just before the 100 meter board again, nice and early, just to get it turned in up to fourth gear not even running out to the outside of the curve, uh, the track now just a straight run to the start finish line and we are 11 seconds ahead so comfortably ahead uh, worked our way through the traffic a little bit better on that occasion and that was a much much better race so nearly 12 seconds ahead of Mercedes behind in the end I uh, hit the button too quickly there, so I don't know whether I got a clean race, but uh, a bit over enthusiastic to get on. Looks like 30,000 credits, so maybe it didn't like one or two of those corners I took. I think I did get a clean race on that occasion. I'm not going to bother with the replay. I want to get through this particular weekend of races. So, race three, we're heading over to the Nurburgring. I always refer to these as weekend races, although. Clearly, we wouldn't do these three races over a weekend, but you, you get my idea. When, when I'm doing the menu books, I consider each menu book as a weekend race. Um, just goes back to normally races being run over weekends in real life. So we are at the Nürburgring, uh, a track that we are reasonably OK with. Our first corner is usually a tricky one, so I'm just going to make sure that my traction control is on one. It's looking awfully grey. So I'm just having a quick look at the weather radar before we come down into this corner. I'm going to break nice and early. We get an opportunity up the inside. Oh, yeah, they go. The, the, the DS gave us a little bit of room, so we managed to get that move done. Uh, we've also done the Audi on the inside. It's nice. We should be able to do the inside on the BMW Z8 car that ideally we'd like to acquire. Just keeping it tight through here, using a lot of the curb. We're going to stay left. Get all. I didn't really get left enough for my liking. Might need to work on that a little bit. Normally I come over to the left to get a much better run through here. But at the moment I'm just being very cautious about the overtakes. So fairly clean and tidy thus far. These cars are opening up quite nicely for me. 
Uh, that's going to close on the inside, so we'll just bury the brake pedal down into second gear to get it turned down up into third. Nice overtake on the course. Thinking about this run down here, I'm looking for these grey patches, so a bit of grass there, hit the brake pedal, get it turned in, and we'll come behind the Vantage. Oh, the Vantage has really buried the brake pedal mid-corner, really slowed down. That was uh, a bit... Um, a bit, uh, a bit nervy, I was going to catch him. We've got the weather coming in now. So I did do the right thing, have the weather radar on. I'm not sure how wet this is going to get. We are on racing softs, we're on slick tyres. Uh, three into one doesn't go. We're just back out of there slightly. An opportunity to follow the VW through the VW. We've actually gone left, so we get the opportunity to go down the inside. Um, let's just get on the back of the Creo for the moment and a nice overtake there. So sometimes, just when you come out of a corner, let the car in front of you settle down, but carry the speed through. In this instance, you can go to the right, take fifth. Uh, yeah, sometimes when you're coming out of the corner, just letting the car in front of you just settle down, seeing whether they're going to go left or right, and very often you can get an overtake that way, especially if your car is so much quicker than the cars that you are racing with. So we've come around for the end of the first lap. We're in fifth place. So we have worked our way through the traffic quite nicely, uh, but we have still got four cars to do, and the first and second look quite a fair way down the track. So we'll drift across to the left a little bit, and we'll stay more central just to get on the back of that car. Oh, the AI cars caught me out again absolutely buried it on the apex of the corner, slowed it down and I didn't anticipate that at all so that could well be another clean race bonus gone um, not a worry, we'll carry on, we've got this lovely BMW M3 which is probably going to go out to the left so we'll keep it tight and do an overtake on the inside the weather is clearing away now, which is good. We just need to be careful of the track being too wet. Looking at the cars in front, there's not a lot of spray coming up off of their wheels, so I think we're okay. Just pushing through this corner, watching for the apex, watching where the Mercedes is going. I think the fourth gear as we come down into this run, fifth gear. We're going to be out of position here as we do an, in, uh, an overtake on the inside. That gives us a much more acute turn in for this corner even to get out of it with the BMW in front of us so that's let him get away a little bit so up in the fourth gear we normally take a lot of curve through here but again the AI is braking heavily in the corner which gives us the opportunity to go around the outside using that little green strip and that puts us into first place as we come up to this little left right section trying to carry as much speed through here because this is a very quick section if you use all of the track getting out onto that little green section up into fifth gear we're going to take loads of curve through here coming right up on the curve could actually have used a bit more which meant that we would have not been quite so acute bury the brake pedal to get it turned in for the chicane right in the first corner right in the second up to third gear a run to the line. We're just watching for that little corner marker, getting it slowed down, turned in, hugging the inside of this corner. The amount of times I hit the on code when I'm uh, not concentrating there really hurts. So be careful of that on curve when you come around that top corner. So as we come across for the final lap, we are a full six seconds ahead. With a break just after the 150, between 150 and 100 meter ball down into second gear, watching the bump as we come out get the car settled up into third out to the right rotated into fourth to get a run oh we go way too much speed through there oh, that could be a clean race bonus gone uh, extreme wide this time we're taking a lot more corner up through there much more corner through there clean race bonus is gone so we're just going for it now uh, up uh, nearly nine seconds ahead watching the brake here fourth gear third gear getting turned in over the curb, leaving it in third for the moment, turning for this curb as well, just using all of the curbs, all of the track here, up into fourth, if we do the run downhill, ten and a half seconds ahead now. 
watching for the gap between the two bits of grey curves that the grassy bit as the camera said here turned in over the curve nicely now this is good let it drift out using all of the curve on the exit we're going to do fourth across this one so curve down into third and you quite have the confidence should have stuck with fourth gear through there but if you drop it down into third uh, up to fifth underneath the bridge looking for the green strip buried a brake pedal just before that over this curve using the green strip staying to the left coming looking for the apex of this corner that's better exits that's nice and we've got a nice turn of speed down here we'll be making up loads of time really take a lot of curb let it drift out to the left and then run over to the right looking for the change in uh, tarmac color there as an indication for the braking zone loads of curbs making up time all the while through here 13.8 13.9 nearly nearly missed my braking zone watching the, the timing pop there um, and we come across the line at cheap relaxed a little bit too much on that one i was watching the, uh, the time rather than where i was going so oh, i could have quite easily messed that up at the end so another first place so that's three first places which is good uh price money of thirty thousand credits full complement of points and thirty thousand credits so i think that throwing it off the track did possibly cost us a clean race bonus so 60,000 for gold overall and another trophy. Uh, we now get a choice of three cars. I'd like the Focus would be my preference. Uh, we get the Dodge Challenger, but that doesn't matter. I mean, the Ford Focus RS. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually win that in the menu tickets or whether I will end up buying it. But uh, that's still quite a nice car to have. It takes our collector level up to 23 and we've now got our human comedy is now open what on earth that is i have no clue um, but we've got our, our gift card for completing that menu book and i'm not going to worry about the replay 15 seconds ahead of the second place person but more importantly we just got uh, First place across the weekend, so we'll head back to the cafe and we'll catch up with Luca and see what he's got in store for us. So well done for winning the championship. Got a, another lovely gold trophy. So Colorado Springs is now available to us. And next we're going to be heading off for menu book number 26, which is a collection of boards. Maybe, maybe we might get that Focus RS in there. And there's a lot of nice Fords in the collection. So please join me for that video coming very soon. If you are back for another video, thank you ever so much for having me along. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. This is a new channel that I am trying to build. And subscriptions do let me know that I'm doing the right thing. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the bell button and the like button as well. The bell button will give you notifications of more videos coming very soon. For now. Take care. Bye-bye.